So, as you've just seen, this blade, not the best quality anymore. It needs a damn good clean, and it just really needs to be changed. Um, so I'm going to be changing this one uh, in this episode, and I'll uh, show you how to do that. So this is my Milwaukee 254mm uh, Midasaur. Uh, it's battery operated, uh, and it is one of my favourite tools in the shop at the moment. So I'm going to show you how to change the blade on this one, and uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas on how to do it on yours. Okay, so one of the most important things obviously when you're changing a blade on any saw, whether it be a mitre saw or a table saw or a circular saw or anything like that, is power. You don't want any power being able to go to the machine at all. Obviously with a normal machine that's cabled, you just pick the plug out. With this one, I'm simply going to remove the battery, put it to the side, and I know that there's nothing going to this, and it doesn't matter how many times I press a button, it's not going to start on me. The first thing you need to do is actually find the um, Allen key. Now, when I first unpacked this, I thought that they had forgotten to put it in and I was really annoyed because I was looking everywhere for it and then eventually I found it just tucked behind here. So it is literally on the machine at all times. Now I wouldn't advise you lose this. Once you finish with it, put it back in that little hole and uh, you'll know where it is every time. So I've got the standard Milwaukee blade on here at the moment and what I've actually done is bought a lovely Fjord blade for this. Things you need to remember about this saw, obviously this is your guard, this needs to be up and out of the way and that's the easiest way. Um, Milwaukee are really good and it does actually sort of lock into place. It will knock off quite easily if you don't hold it there but it will just sort of hold there quite nicely. You've got your nut here that actually holds it in place. Uh, this is obviously a reverse one, so whereas you normally right to tight and left to loose, it doesn't do that on this one, so you have to make sure it goes the other way around. And there is a button just on the side here which actually locks the blade. See, this is the button just here, so you have to press that button down so then you know it's gonna be locked into place, just like that. If you don't hold it and you try and turn it, while you're here, it's just going to rotate like that. So I'm holding this button, popping the Allen key in, and making it sure it's in that locked position. Anyway, make sure the spanner is actually at the front of the blade because you're going to have to turn it clockwise in order for it to undo. So they shouldn't be tight, they're not meant to be overly tight with this. It's not like you're trying to hold something down and secure it for the rest of your life. So just that little bit of pressure should undo it, and then it will slowly undo. Once you've done that, you can take that off and then loosen it with your fingers until it comes off. Obviously, be careful not to make, knock the blade off completely. Uh, you don't want it falling and clattering to the floor. So make sure you look after that. That's your washer. Uh, the washer, as you can see, has got two flat sides which uh, locate onto the sides, the two flat sides of the actual uh, arbor going through. Uh, so you know that you've got it in the right place. And then you can just take that blade off nicely. And you can see that this is quite a very worn blade. Uh, really dirty teeth. Um, so I need to get this one cleaned. And it should be okay just as a backup blade. Okay, so I've got my fraud blade here. Obviously being very careful because these teeth are incredibly sharp. So slide it up into the slot. Being very careful not to scratch the teeth on anything. Just hold it in place until you can get those that nut back on. And then you can just pop that one back on, just finger tight. This one specifically, the actual nut has um, blade to this side of the on the thing, so you know that it goes on that way. It means you don't have to worry about which way around it's going on. And obviously you're going anti-clockwise on this one, so you're turning it like that in order for it to screw back on. And then just going to give it just a little bit of a, thing, of a turn. I don't want it really, really tight. I just want it on there nicely. And you can see that's nicely on there. Pop the blade back, guard back down, and now it's ready to do some cuts. One thing I didn't mention about the blade is make sure you have the teeth facing the right way. So this side with all the markings on it is going to go like this on the saw, facing that way. So the teeth are coming towards me. If I had it this way round, it's not really going to do much because the teeth are going to be going along the wood this way and not 
actually doing any cutting. So make sure you know which way your blade turns and have the blade at the right um, orientation. So, battery back in. Works, lovely. And then let's do a test cut. Wow, a lot quicker, a lot nicer, much better improvement. Hey guys, hope you liked that video. If you did, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Uh, I love interacting with you guys. There's some more videos here for you to check out if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.